The pandemic is negatively impacting people throughout society, and there are now growing concerns that women will bear long term effects. A Bureau of Labor Statistics study outlines two reasons for this. First, the crisis is hitting sectors where women's employment is more concentrated, like restaurants, retail, hospitality, and healthcare. Second, because schools and daycares have closed, childcare is now more challenging, and that is an additional obstacle for working mothers. The authors estimate 15 million single mothers in the U.S. will be the most severely affected here. What congressional action can be taken now to help women and what should be done in the next Congress to address the longer term implications of this? Representative Custer, we'll start with you. Sharice, thank you for that question. And I want to say to every mom that's out there coping with COVID right now, I hear you, I see you, and I want to support you. We can help right now with child care, giving support to child care organizations so they reopen their doors safely and so that your children will be safe and you can go back to work, as well as giving the supports to our school system, to our teachers, so that they can make sure that children are safe, whether they're in school in person or whether they're learning from home. One in four women has been forced out of the workforce, either reduced her hours or left her job completely. This will have monumental impact on our economy and I feel very strongly that we need to tackle this and tackle it now. Thank you for the question. I absolutely support the legislation and again this funding is in the HEROES Act and that's why I feel so strongly about getting it passed. Congresswoman, thank you. Mr. Negron, same question. Absolutely, Sharice. And I just want to expand it because there are single fathers out there um, that are facing the same, the same kind of issue um, with raising their children. Look, I had a young lady from, uh, from Nashville. Her name was Alyssa. Um, and she actually called the Congresswoman's office um, to try to, to get some, some help, um, to try to get some backing so that we can open up the schools. Uh, to the point exactly is that they are children out there that need to be back in school. Kids need to be back in an institution of learning, but we're, but we're not, we're in a lockdown. And in, and in this, my town of Nashua, you know, they're, they're not allowing the kids back to school. And I think that's a disservice um, to the kids. And you know what, let kids go back to school. Um, I have a friend of mine who's a, a daycare uh, supervisor. You know, let's find ways to get daycares open so that parents, um, single parents and married couples uh, can use those, uh, those facilities to get the school back. But you know what, again, this is our reaction to the pandemic. There are parents with kids out there that want to get back to school. Um, we're not allowing them, and I think that's a disservice, and we'll see that for future generations to come. 